Anyways, uh, they were either outdated or kind of sketchy. Like, I wasn't sure if I was downloading uh, a high resolution mod or some sort of virus that was going to eat my whole computer. So I decided not to bother with any of the high resolution mods for Diablo 2. <clears throat> I've had bad experiences in the past trying to mod Diablo 2 where I pretty much had to reset my whole computer. And I'm not talking about pressing the little reboot button and it restarts. I'm talking about wiping my hard drive and re-downloading everything I had downloaded on there. Which, for anyone who doesn't know, that's a big pain in the butt. So I've decided not to do that this time. And I'm just going to play Diablo 2 as normally as I possibly can. Which is great. Yeah, so if anyone is actually interested in seeing that series, I'm still very willing to do it. But you should know that it will not be perfect. Like, it's not going to be quite as full screen as this series is. Uh, like, I reduced the size of the black bars significantly. They're now maybe, like, a quarter of an inch on the uh, outsides of the screen, which isn't bad compared to what they were before. They were, like, two inches before almost. It was horrible. Um... However, there's not only that, but there is an issue with um, my taskbar kind of showing up in the video if I put my mouse too far down. And uh, there's also like the, uh, I don't even know what you call it, the bar at the top of your programs with your minimize, maximize, and, and closing. I guess you could call it like a command bar or something like that. I, I don't know. I don't know. I know... A decent amount about certain things with computers and then other stuff I may be one of the dumbest computer people in my age group it's hilarious like there's some stuff I'll be like oh I can do this and I'll just do it without any issues whatsoever and then there's other stuff where like everyone's just oh this is super easy and I'm like you could do that whoa dude all right so I'm gonna go ahead and cook up some glass here um, I do glass panes, for one, because they're cheaper, and I hate collecting sand, but also because I think they're more aesthetically pleasing. No, not so much. It, it's more that I like realism, <laughs> which is really funny to say, considering I'm playing Minecraft, but I do. I, I really enjoy realism, and because we don't have regular, like, shark glass in our houses that's, you know, 18 inches thick or something like that, um, I prefer to have the panes because they remind me of actual windows. Believe it or not, it, it's so weird, right? Who wants actual windows in a game of blocks? Well, I do. I do, and I would also love circles. I, I would love that, which is actually why I am super excited for when this game called Yogg Ventures comes out. Um, if anyone didn't know, I'm a huge fan of the Yogg's cast. They are these really goofy guys who make Minecraft videos. Um, that's really about the only way I can describe them. They're English, which instantly makes them better than me in every way possible, because not only do they have this really awesome accent, <clears throat> but you can actually understand them still. I think that's why everyone loves the English. It's not that they have an accent, because tons of people have accents. To a lot of people throughout the world, I have an accent, which I don't believe is true. Working in tourism, by the way, I have a reason for this. Um, I have met people from probably 12 different countries who speak exactly like I do. And because of that, that means that my, are you guys seeing this in, in the middle of the screen, by the way, this crazy kind of blurring line, it, it, it's a horizontal line, it's on the ground. If you can't see that, then I'll just know that my monitor's dying and, and I'll cry a little inside because that means I have to buy a new one. Which actually isn't so bad, because then I could record in 1080p if I wanted to. <laughs> so if anyone is curious, uh, there are two reasons that I upload in 720p. Uh, well, all right, three. Um, I would upload in 480p if having non-HD videos was acceptable in the YouTube community. Um, and that is because of my internet speed. <clears throat> I live in what is essentially Redneckville, USA, middle of nowhere, okay? Um, the closest town to me 
aside from my town, which if you blink, you'd miss it. Um, my graduating class was 11 people, to give you a rough idea of how small this is. Um, closest town to me is 14 miles away. That's where I get my internet from, right? 14 miles is a decent distance to have your internet cables be traveling. But it works just fine, sometimes. But uh, one of the other issues is that due to where I live and, and just the, the fact that there's no one living in this area, and there never has been, um, our internet is terrible to begin with. Even if I lived in town, then, like, I still couldn't get a very good upload speed. Um, like, I think the max upload speed for this area is actually what I'm paying for, which is um, <clears throat> 0.95 megabytes, which is god-awful, by the way. It, it's terrible. Um, but, as I kind of told you guys earlier, I live in a tiny apartment which is super cheap because me and my wife just got married, we're just out of high school, yada, yada, yada. We don't make that much money, so we need something really cheap. <clears throat> Unfortunately, this place actually used to be a hotel, and it was a very old hotel, which means that the phone wiring is kind of makeshift. And as I have found out recently, our phone cords, or our, our phone jacks, I should say, are not quite what they should be. So whilst I pay for a 5 megabyte download and a 0.95 megabyte upload, which by the way, that's never what you actually get. What you pay for is never what you actually get. Um, your ISP always does this thing, I forget the technical name of it, but they cut that down and it's legal, but it's in completely BS. It, it's dumb. They cut it down kind of like to save them money. And then the distance it travels through the cords is something to do with that too, or, or something like that. But it's dumb. You never get what you pay for. Any hoosers, I should be getting at least like 4.8 download and like a 0.8 or a 0.85 megabyte uh, upload. Not even close. My download fluctuates between about 1 and 3 on a really good day for, for my megabytes per second. My upload sits at a solid 0.17. Um, I don't know how much uh, of the United States is worse than me, but I'm going to assume that if you have DSL, which this technically is, um, it, it's better than mine. Like, I'm still better than dial-up, by all means. But aside from that, I think that I have pretty terrible internet. So, um, uploading these videos, terrible. Like that Volts video, it, it's 11 minutes long, right? Um, took like two, two and a half hours to upload in 720p. If I did 1080p, I, I'd never get anything done. I, I'd literally record like a five minute video and it'd take all day to upload because my internet's just that bad, which is very sad. Right, but the other reason that I do 720p is that this monitor is 720p and whilst I could technically render out my videos in 1080 uh, assuming that I recorded them in, in 720 which I am because that's what my resolution is set at it actually doesn't make that big of a difference if I render it to 1080 but if I had a 1080p monitor then I could play in 1080p and thus record in 1080p and then my video quality would jump up exponentially at least that's my understanding of it like I said, sometimes I'm a big derp when it comes to computers, and I could be completely wrong. So tell me if that's the case, because if uh, if that's the case, I may just opt out and buy another 720p monitor because they're cheaper. All right, well, I think that I have been talking for a long time now. So I think this is going to be recording session one. We've got our makeshift Frankenhouse done. I am safe from all the monsters out there in the wilds. I've got myself a bed, which is incredible. I never get a bed first day. Usually it's like five days in. I've been down in the mines for two days gathering material. I've got like a full set of iron armor before I even have a bed, which is good because it means I'm less likely to die. However, because it's me, I die anyways. <laughs> so this bed is very useful. I love your bed. Right. Anyways, hope you guys are having a great day, and I will... Let's talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.